in this video i will talk about high sprees if you enjoy underground war content i try to upload underground war videos about the underground war nuke and the other underground war weekly but i can feel it that just like this intro kind of feel Okay, for the first part of this video, I will be using some footage of another video. Don't kill me, please, because I'm lazy and I want to use this footage. Also, if you want to see more about this footage, make sure to check that video out. It's called Which Type of Player Are You? And I explain all the types of players. But for now, let's talk about High Spree. Most people brag about their highest spree ever. They're like, oh my god, I got a 200 spree. <laughs> or my high spree is 124 be that or maybe they're like i'm so good my high spree is 89 <laughs> let me tell y'all a little something that all doesn't matter a person with a high score of 100 can also be better than a person with a high spree of 200 and let me tell you how this works but first make sure you subscribe and also make another account for your lizard pet so he can subscribe to okay or she i don't know i'm not assuming genders please i am not into that stuff so uh like anyhow yeah subscribe okay now that we established that a high spree doesn't really matter i'm going to explain y'all why it doesn't really matter i will also explain how to know if you actually are a good player so stay tuned for that keep on watching you little noob Okay, so I once got a comment on a video where I got a high spree and someone said Noob Chopi, you just kill noobs and that's how you get a high spree And actually that was totally right, it's almost impossible to get a high spree on good players And with that I mean that no one will get a spree above 100 against good players Only if you are hacking of course, but if you are hacking then I think you should do a backflip uh, From an airplane With a parachute Into a lake with crocodiles. <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! So a high spree it doesn't really matter because you're probably just killing noobs and no one really cares about killing noobs because literally every decent player can kill noobs like okay who cares you just need luck to get into a good server with all noobs that don't leave or if they leave then there's gotta be like new bad players that join so you can kill them all over again and you can continue your high spree. So if you have that in mind then actually a high spree isn't that impressive. But what is actually impressive? How do you actually know if you are good at the game? Well I've thought about two things that come to mind when we think about what are good indicators to know if you are good at playing the underground war? The second one is the most important one, so keep watching uh, and just listen through the first one because it's boring. Just kidding. Um, subscribe. The first one is consistency. Consistency in getting high sprees. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but let me explain. We have fighting consistency, server consistency, and time consistency. Fighting consistency is if you are a good player that means you should be able to execute fighting moves on a consistent basis so killing noobs should be always an easy task to do server consistency is in every noob server you should get easily a 25 spree and me of course i get a 100 spree every day i mean i used to but not anymore because i suck at the game now i made a video about it by the way you can check that one out i'll link it down in the description it's called how to become a pro or something like that yeah um anyhow and the last one is time consistency which just means that every time you play you play good and not just have like one good day you play good and like some days you play very bad like if you are a good player you should be able to play every day or every time you play at least um you should be playing good 
Okay, the second indicator is about points. Yes, I know it sounds pretty weird and dumb, but let me explain before you unsubscribe with your lizard pet accounts, okay? It's about how fast you gain points in the game. If you join all the same time with your friends or with other people, for example, and you end up with more points than means you'll perform better than your friends or the other people. If you know what I mean. I hope you don't hear my sister singing in the background. Oh god. This is actually one of the best indicators to know who is the best player between you and your friends or someone else. And let me explain how that works before you get too confused by this weird video. For example, you and your friend want to see who is the best but your friend reaches way too far because he's a dirty mobile player that should be buried underground and it's totally unfair to do a 1v1 so what you can do is get in the same team and you'll fight the same people and one of you is going to end up with more points if you do this you can't really complain about anything besides maybe mobile players that reach far against pc players when your friend is a dirty mobile player anyhow now time for a sponsor as you can see i don't have that many subscribers so make sure to like and subscribe of course and also this video is sponsored by my own group so make sure to check out my group in roblox and buy some clothing so i can become rich in the underground war i mean in roblox actually uh so i don't do this and make this video for nothing because like literally i spent so many time making videos but i barely get anything from it because youtube ain't paying a lot and uh, i i put like quite a lot of effort in these videos and like i just need the robux man as you can see from my poor character i'm just kidding also i want to talk about ranked arenas this is a group i made with a friend of mine joseph the smelly baka anyhow and we are creating a sword fighting game so make sure to Check that out in the future, join ranked arenas and buy the merch there too because we need funding to pay taxes, I mean uh, paying the scripter because well uh, yeah we can't do that on our own you know what I mean. So if you want the sword fighting game be released by me and Joseph the underground award then you should buy merch there. Uh, it's actually a pretty nice clothing we design clothes ourselves and I will also start making a youtube channel about roblox clothing so make sure to stay tuned for that but it's still a project in the workman thing in the making kind of english anyhow i don't know what english is so yeah subscribe for that and i just made the video way more amateurist amateur amateur am bad i made the video more bad worse <laughs>
I'm going off every chance I get I don't really take a loss, well I'll admit That's why I'll make it to the top, yeah I commit And no I'm never getting lost, I get after it Investing in my own stock cause it's faster than Any crypto hits go, let me spend Everything that you see is something I invent And it's only a percent, I'm gonna take shots if I miss off